We just made these two door hanger signs with these giant jars. And we used some UV resin to try to make them pop. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, we're getting into some giant jars. <laughs> They're mason jars. So I really saw this cute door hanger that I had Garrett design for me. It started as our mason jar in our lemon tier tray, oh, yeah. but I wanted to do its own door hanger mason jar. But then I had a little idea that I wanted to make the jar look more like a glass jar. So we're going to try something new. We haven't done this before. We're going to use the new mason jar design, but I'm going to add some UV resin to give it that glass jar look. That glass jar feel. And we're each gonna make Fire. one with two, diff two different themes. Yep. His is gonna be fireflies with a nighttime feel. I'm gonna make it glow. And mine is gonna be more of a summertime lemonade, poppy, you know, kind of light refreshing. sitting on it. Yeah, refreshing. Yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Refreshing. <laughs> And the only reason that I'm doing fireflies is really so I can make glow-in-the-dark resin. Yes. If you remember from Christmas, he really wanted that vertical Christmas porch leaner that had Christmas lights on it and we used resin on them. He really wanted those to glow in the dark. So it had to look real. He is still pop. looking for glow-in-the-dark signs and I think we're gonna we've got something to try this time. That's my goal. <laughs> glow goal. <laughs> Your glow goal. <laughs> Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. I pulled the kit out of the store. I'm using the Firefly door hanger kit. And I'm using a refreshing lemonade mason jar kit. And then I'm using country chic paints, but I don't know what colors yet. Some glow in the dark paint. You gotta make those flyer fireflies glow. Yeah, I gotta <laughs> make them look real with some UV resin. And we'll be using our UV light from our Icon Art custom stencil kit. We made one of these reusable stencils back in December and we highly recommend it. You can use our code make it for 15% off your custom stencil kit. And we figured this light was a little more powerful than the wimpy light that comes with the UV Yeah, resin. it's just a little guy. So, so there's a lot to cover yeah, right here. Big area and I wanted it to uh, like harden up fast, especially if you're going to try to make it look like liquid. Yeah, I'm trying to wait till you see it. I'm going to I'm gonna have drips in there. Oh, drips. Mm -hmm. Drips and waves. Yes, Ice waves. Ice tea waves. Yeah, oh, waves. lemonade waves. Lemonade waves, yes. Step two. Now we paint. Uh, <laughs> it's only three tries. So we're gonna paint the backers. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to get fancy. Make mine look like dark sky. Right, I'm just gonna share a little bit. So we do add this blue tape on our kits when we sell them. Uh, because everything is cut so they will pack it so that the frames help keep it tight and keeps it packed tightly for shipping. So you'll have to take this tape off and then if you've ever received a kit, we recently changed to the blue tape. Previous to that we had the clear tape and a little light sanding goes a long way. So just <laughs> wanted to share that kind of smooth things out a little bit in case the paint leaves any kind of texture. The other thing is we make the cut so when you lift the frame up for these mason jars, uh, this is what you're gonna put on top, the, the frame part. The rest of it comes out. Now you can paint yours however you want, but that is our plan for now. So I wanted to show you that. I think I might leave my this top piece pieces in. Goes my, in the trash. My lid pieces in and paint them a different color so it looks like the fireflies are trapped in the jar. Oh. Poor little guys. I'm gonna poke air holes in the top. Okay. <laughs> All right, am I coming in with this, uh, what is it, midnight sky? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. You should put a little midnight sky on there. Right, and a midnight sky. I am going to I think I'm gonna draw. come in with a base of simplicity. Splashing liquids. Yeah, is that? Yeah, I, I would say that's about right. Yeah, looks good. Oh, you're gonna come in with that is a good lemonade color. I'm gonna have to say. That is a... I can already see. I want a brush. Mm. 
Yeah, these sponges leave a lot of like marks. They also take a lot of the product. Yeah. yeah. Midnight sky. little resin thing that I made. I'm gonna dip my sponge brush in there and then use the country chic to paint. Oh. Try to blend it. Look at you blend get it. fancy. Garrett uses mm. his fancy paint techniques. Yeah. Where did my brush go? Now we're gonna glue it down. We're gonna glue the design down to the backers. I'm gonna start with my frame. Yep, so we've added all of our paint. I added some stripes to my straw. Give it a little something something. A little something something. Yeah. Now, we did just have a whole conversation and debate on whether or not to glue the words down and then add the resin or add the resin and then put the words in it while it was wet. The tricky part with mine is I'm going to try and keep the resin only in the yellow. And I think if I try and put the words in, it's going to move it. So we've decided to glue the words, then we'll add the resin. Now, the other thing I was going to show you for mine is, oh, oh I'm making a mess. Oh no. I want to keep the spacing correct. I did not paint mine in the frame. Garrett painted his in the frame. So I did put it back in the frame and put the tape on it and then I'm going to pop it out and hopefully keep it on the tape and then lay it down. So you can watch me do that. I'll set my frame over here. See now I'm going to put my, my drawer pieces back in. I painted them. Yeah, I debated. I saw yours. I saw what you did there. Oh, you saw that? Mm -hmm. Oops. Let me get my little... Make this work. How's that working? Should I try that? If you cut your tape, don't leave your tape with wings. Oh, uh, okay. Does sweet need to be in white? I need to bring the white in from this lemon, don't I? Yeah, maybe sweets and white. Call out the sweet part, the sweetness, the sweet juiciness. All right, all right, all right sorry, back to my drawing board. I feel like this is, do you have all the cameras going so you can see? Yeah. I feel like the all pink mauve. Yeah, it's more of a, so I really wanted to use cherry blossom 
but this can is out out and I don't have any right now <laughs> so I decided to use full bloom which is nice but um, once you put it all together it looks like something needs a pop of color here so I think I'm gonna add sweet and white that should be easy easy do yeah redo easy redo step two again yeah back to step two Wait, yeah the great thing about these paints is I can go right over it and it'll it'll do it that's the great thing about these little paint daubers um, we use the makeup sponges too and if you hold them just right they don't go over the edge too much either but these paint daubers are better and you can wash them out we do rinse them out and reuse them Should I use this yellow glow in the dark? Yellow paint, or this yeah. ultimate glow in the dark? Oh. I'm gonna go with ultimate. Because it says ultimate. I'm gonna paint their butts. For the resin we got the uv resin we're gonna make it pop yeah we're gonna take it to the next level uh, we could stop here yeah we could i just add a bow throw some clear coat on there call it a day but i want to make it pop in the daylight too so i'm gonna add a little resin in the butts let it spill out a little bit you might want to add your little um this little yellow dye to give it that daytime oh, yeah. glow okay in your resin, here's a little cup. Ooh, I'll use this. I'll use that. Well, I don't know if that'll mix with the resin. That's why you got to use the special. We'll see. We'll see. We'll if it see. Works. We'll see. Giving it that double glue. All right, it looks pretty. It's pretty mixed. All right, I'm going this way first. Look. Ooh, look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Right, let's get this camera closer. Uh, I better do it one at a time if you're going to harden it or try and harden it. You think you so? Should, you know what? You might need to do that in layers a thinner layer and harden it, and a thinner layer and harden it. Oh, uh, true. Let's do a thin layer. Yes, that's it. What a great color. Oops. That's a little thicker layer. Give this guy a little more. That's enough. That's enough. Let Thanks it harden. So. Alright. Now the light that we stole from the other place. How long do we do this? What does it say? 90 seconds, huh? Mm-hmm. See? Can you see their butts have bubbles in them? Yeah, show your side camera. I guess a side camera can see. Alright, I think I'm gonna add a little more glow in the dark paint. Just to keep it 
to pop. Like. All right, do you want one of these on? Yep, they're on. All right, so for yours, we're gonna try to lay down the thing mm -hmm. and then freeze it real quick. Are you gonna use this brush? Mm, sure. Step five, and now we have the accents. <laughs> it's really just a ribbon for the hanger. And my bow. Kim gave me a pre-made. She pre-made it. I did. I have already whipped up these bows. Whipped them up. So Kim's came out a little wonky. I'm, I'm gonna let me put my bow on, and then I'm gonna oh, show you. Okay. All I right. gotta. I gotta. <laughs> it looks so rough that I need to add the bow first. <laughs> she can't unveil it until she's got something to take the eye away from yeah. the liquid. I put holes yeah. on the mason jar so you can just slide your ribbon through. Yep, I was just getting ready to do that same pitch. I love that he adds this little feature to all the rounds. It makes it so much easier to hang them. You don't have to have a hanger. You don't have to... Mess um, with any hardware. Yeah, no hardware, no hot glue. You just tie this ribbon and it is right there. The knot is the hardest part. And my little tip, I think I already mentioned this before in one of our other videos, but I found uh, someone who was using uh, these zip ties as the bow ties instead of like um, ribbon wire and game changer, game changer. So if you're not using zip ties, I highly recommend it. Yeah, someone mentioned in the comments before that the zip ties changed their life and they were sorry they didn't mention it to us before. <laughs> they really did. What a what a game changer they've been. I really it's so much easier. Mm. That's why you lay it down flat, I don't know. <laughs> Here, no, you're it. making it, it harder for yourself. Just yeah, pull it on through. Lay it down, put your ribbon on, your bow on. Gotta get my bow on. Which side? This side? Yeah. This side? Let me see. Let me see it on this side. I say this side. This side? Yeah. Let me see my zip tie. <laughs> oh, there it is. Ooh, there it is. Lock down tight. All right, you gonna you ready for your unveil? Yep. Should I unveil mine first? Yes. Or second? All right, first. <laughs> yes. Bam! It's a firefly kind of day. Well, night, I guess. So it's night. And then here's mine, which is cute. I love the whole concept with the straw and everything. Um, the idea for the resin. I mean, it hardened. It's doing what it's supposed to, but I don't know if the table wasn't level enough and it slid. I know that coming back and adding more resin after it hardened a little bit was not good because you can see where we squeezed in a little extra here and there to fill yeah. in some spaces. So, do we have any you know. Do we have any resin experts in the house? <laughs> it looks like it separated from the paint in some places. Do you know why? Can you tell us? <laughs> Should we have sealed it with some kind of clear oh, acrylic first acrylic or something? First? That's a good you idea. Guys, let us know. I don't know. It so. looks a little wonky. Yeah, the whole It looks place. cool. And I see, I like the design. The concept. And I see the concept. Execution is where we lost it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, what do you think? <laughs> Have you messed with UV resin? Have you made any signs with UV resin or jewelry? Do you need to put down thinner layers? I don't know. I don't know why it didn't glow, and I don't know why yours came out all wonky. <laughs> you guys have any UV resin tips or tricks? Leave them down below because I definitely want to do more with this stuff. It's cool that it hardens so fast. Um, I will say if you do purchase these mason jar kits, so there's two of them. There's just the the home sweet home kit will be there and then the lemonade kit. Um, this is a bit extreme, so we're working on what we can do for shipping with the straw. The lemon does come separate and so I've just glued it on. If you look at the back, you'll see that it's glued on. Um, and we're gonna do something similar for the straw so that it can come and ship in a box um, and not be sticking out that far. <laughs> so we're trying to keep it contained in the size of this so that shipping is cheaper. I think we're about out of time. So if you're not gonna join us for the patron after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And I'll balance mine because I don't know if you Yours will make it through the balance. Just play it, just play it. Do, do. I mean, it's on there. It's hard. Do, do. Ooh, it may balance the rest from the straw. Oh, no. Yeah, just a little bit. Here we go. I hope you enjoyed it because he's about to break it. Oh, I'm not even joking. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no. Oh, it's not funny. Oh, you almost broke it with yes. your grab. You almost hurt my finger. <laughs>